Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 142 here on season number two. And today we are getting into five side hustles for the weekend. So these videos are meant for educational purposes only and not meant to be taken as financial advice. You're responsible for your assets and to properly protect them. So always do your own research. Most people are probably looking for an extra way to make a little extra cash on the weekend. Maybe that's because you use one of the investing apps that I, I usually cover on, on the show, or maybe you just actually need a, a, a few extra dollars to maybe pay down some more debt, or you wanna go out and party with your friends a, a little bit harder. So these are my five top side hustles. Number one, the flip flop. Literally hit up the local Craigslist and see if there's any good yard sales. Make sure you bring your phone in, and then when you're at the yard sale, if you see something that looks, you know, valuable, look it up on your phone and see what it's going for on say like Craigslist or offer up and then make sure that you can beat the competition by like maybe like 20% or something like that. And then go ahead and ask them the price. Well, if you could turn a profit, then what are you waiting for? This side hustle does require a little bit of risk up front, obviously you're going to be purchasing stuff and then and then reselling it. So you might find yourself having a few duds during the flip flop. Number two, the part-time job. Find a super easy, low experience, necessary part-time job that is only required for you to work the weekend. I mean, and this is so that it will be pretty easy so you're not gonna be like busting hump over the weekend. And then go ahead and, and use your work ethic to leverage maybe a pay raise once you've been there for a little bit. I'm thinking a grocery store, maybe a shelf stalker, heck, even a pizza delivery man. Which brings me right into number three, ride sharing and deliveries. You could literally use your car to help people get to places that they wanna go or help them get food from the store or restaurant to their house. I mean, there's apps out there like Uber, Lyft, Instacart, Postmates, you name it, there's probably many more out there, to be honest. Oh, on a real quick side note, one of my one of my real close friends and, and longtime subscribers actually is running it, an up and coming YouTube channel called Ride to Share Storytime, where he talks about his experiences and shares stories and knowledge on how to navigate the Uber rideshare. Feel free to swing over and check him out. I, I, I'm gonna link it up in the corner. I think it's this corner right here. It would mean the world to me, but more importantly, it would mean the world to him if you went over there and subbed and then, then hit the noti bell also. Number four is the five cent collect. Basically go around collecting cans and bottles. This idea came from my wife. However, I have tried it a few times just sweeping the local neighborhood and actually it's been pretty successful. Literally $50 easy. I mean, you could hit up a local sports field or even get in contact with friends and family and let them know, hey, if you got extra cans and bottles, save them please and I'll come by and pick them up on the weekend. Just remember if you go through digging through people's trash cans, you're probably gonna get yelled at a few times, so it might be better to do the friends and family first. Number five is not actually a side hustle, but it probably will really, really help you out. Double down on your finances, meaning review the week and, and if there's a place that you could have cut cost or you spent more than what you had budgeted, uh, then tr write a plan on how you will keep that from happening into the next week. For instance, maybe you ate out more than you had planned or hey, when you were grocery shopping, that extra box of Oreos looked a little bit too good and it wound up in your cart and now it's at your house. I mean, heck, create a budget at least. If you don't have a budget, what are you doing? You, you need to create a budget. Also try to reduce your spending over the weekend. Instead of dropping maybe $100 at the bar and then $100 at the casino, chill out with trying to impress the ladies and maybe drop it down to half or a quarter or even more than that. Anyways, we'll go ahead and leave right there. Let's jump in the question of the day, which is what's the funniest joke you know by heart? What do you get when you mix an elephant and a rhino? I, I don't know, coach, what? Elephino. Anyways, like I always say, if you've got a question regarding Stash, Acorns, Robinhood, M1 Finance, as well as General Investing, Business Etsy Coaching, post those questions down below. Please don't forget to subscribe right up here and check out my top five strategies for the weekend. Check out this video right here. And as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.